Sit, come here. You wanna get it? Here, watch, ready? Wah! FaceTime cater, Scylla. This thing, I meant to show you this yesterday. Oh, that shit looks fire. Is this what you want? Yeah. HDR CX240. I'll send you the link to it. I think it's like a hundred bucks or something. It's so dope. Yeah, send it to me. I'll probably just go to the camera store today. Dude, magazines weigh so fucking much. Here's the archive. Obviously, we start newer archives, some of the more recent. Gotta add the important photos. Gotta add the covers to the archive. As of right now, this is the photo that'll probably like come to define my entire career, I guess, because it's definitely one of the most widely shared like things I've shot. I woke up with a text and it was like, dude, you're on ESPN. And I was like, holy shit, on their, their Instagram or something. It's just like, all right, what do I have around me to achieve what I need to achieve? A lot of people thought I didn't have a remote control. I do have one, it just didn't work. Like for a minute, I was like, do we have bolt cutters? Can we cut a piece of the trash can out so I can reach in? I wonder how I can get my finger through. I was like, just, and then immediately it was like, oh, maybe there's a stick. But because the button is at an angle, I was able to go in with the stick and it was able to push more down into the camera than over. And just like rested on the button right when he was coming and then I just fired a sequence. I just was like, Brr. so this timing is not skill at all. This is just, the timing is pure luck. I was shooting a sequence. I shot eight frames per second or whatever it is. You know, I remember I had a video a long time ago like where I tied a flash to a fence with shoelaces and like, that's just shit I've always done. I don't want to be a complete gimmick where like, oh, that's the guy who just takes photos in wacky ways. Like, I don't want to be the gimmick guy. These are all kind of later skateboard mag eras. So there was a period of time where I worked for the mag for like a year or two and they are paying me, but I never really got shit run. They'll hire you maybe before you're ready. They'll let you kind of like grow into it a bit. Oh, I shot that. I got a lot of subscribe pages. They needed slam photos, so that was Levi Brown just eating, just full bounce. I was like looking for the holes to get in. This shit's heavy as hell. And then you see the last issues and they're just like wafy and wasting away and pale and like it didn't really get uh, a chance for people to mourn it. You know, like when Transworld goes out of business, it's like everyone makes a post like, I remember my Transworld cover, this and that. Like they still claimed they were gonna make the barracks mag or whatever they did with it and it just slowly fizzled and I just thought that was so sad that it never even had, it never even got a proper send off, you know, in that way. That's actually kind of the same shit I'm doing now. I would never like lean into getting the best trick. I would just try and find someone with a good style and be like, just Ollie on this. <laughs> he saw these random chunks of wood and like pictured this fucking janky ass kinked quarter pipe thing and he front rocked it and it was really sick. Made this photo happen, like built it from scratch basically. It makes it more special. Camera drawer, got a Hasselblad in there, got a wide lux. My grandma got this as a wedding gift when she married my grandpa. And I've actually shot a handful of rolls through it. Like everything on it looks like a, soft focus filter, you know, family heirloom shit. This is like the best digital point and shoot camera I've ever had in my life. It's a Ricoh GR2. SX70. Should we shoot one? It looks so much better when you have a fill flash. Flash fire or no? That's all right, enough light in here, it should come out. If you're fighting so hard for this perfection, if you really want to get a frame where their hand is like here and you can't get it and you try 20 times, like, just let it go, like it's not gonna happen. Like people get so caught up in perfection and the pursuit of it and it's stupid. 2002, I was 16. This is with a wide angle lens and on camera flash, me and my friend Mike Surrogate, rest in peace, Mike passed away a few years ago. And we had all this crazy shit in my front yard. We had a bank ramp, you can't really see in this one, up to a washing machine. The hood on the wide angle lens was just casting a giant shadow on all the photos. It was his camera actually. He had like a closer to a real camera setup before I did. So we were taking turns with his camera. Look at this guy. This was my 14th birthday trip. We took a van full of friends to um, up north in Arizona, like to Sedona. And, uh, and yeah, I had like a point and shoot, like film camera my grandma gave me and we were shooting skate photos on it. From that moment on, that's all I wanted to do. And that's fucking crazy. Oh, I know what this is from. This is Mike's funeral. Well, they asked for photos of him. So we went and yeah, I had all these old photos that I went through and stuff. and. This is him doing a pop shove tail grab off the box. That was that first day of ever shooting skating on a point and shoot. And then this is probably, let's see if this one has a date on it. Oh, so this is 8-20-03. So this is three years apart. So that was the first day. And then that was three years down the line. Same guy skating, same guy shooting. I pretty much learned to shoot photos of Mike. These photos make me feel a lot of shit and they're just awful photos. It's not about whether the photos are good or not. It's just about seeing what was captured in that moment, you know, and like being able to have these photos of Mike, like skating in my front yard and like 
and fuck, he's not even around anymore. So it's like it's really crazy to have him. So it, it really points out what's important in a photograph when you find photos like this, you know? Like that's like, nothing else will put it into perspective. It's like finding photos like these of the shit that came to define like pretty much your entire life. That's, that is wild. I don't know, I, I don't mind grain, I don't mind all this shit. People get so like precious with photos and they like, like does it make you feel something or not? Like was, that's the only thing you should think about. And who do you make the, the work for? You know, like I want like skaters to look at a photo and be stoked. They're not gonna care if this part's out of focus or if this is a little more grainy or whatever. Like I think that's, I've definitely like leaned into just not caring about technical perfection. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> This explains me in a nutshell. It's like, this is film. I still need to cut and page and like archive properly. But we were moving and I didn't know what to do with it. I used what I had, 30 rolls of film in here, rolled up and just wrapped in aluminum foil. I don't have the proper tools to do something. And instead of just getting the proper tools, I'm just like, oh, that'll work. And I just like grabbed tin foil and wrap it up. So now I have like leftovers in my closet for years, like film. I think honestly, this is the very, very first skate photo I ever shot in my entire life. Mike doing a 180 indie, fuck. We thought it was like gnarly. So I ran in and grabbed the camera and we shot photos and that was like, oh, we should shoot a bunch of skate photos. So we started shooting a bunch of stuff. Cool about this photo is uh, Andrew's my partner in Golden Hour today. I've been shooting skate photos of Andrew since I started shooting photos and now we make the magazine together and he, all these years later, we're doing the same shit. What else do we got? E6 slide sheets. This was probably one of the first times I ever got, tried to get really close. I liked that grip a lot and his colors were good and I wanted to be like really up in his grill. That was with the Hasselblad fish eye, it's way scarier. Like, this is my favorite one, like when I shot this 2006 or something, 2005. Coming back again, you're like, I think I like that one better now. Like you just, you like different frames at different points of your life. One of the first rolls ever shot on the Hasselblad. So I was like, I got this new camera. Let me come on a skate trip with you. We went to Tucson We switch front boarded this rail. These are pages from Golden Hour One that we printed and gave to Emil Laurent because we wanted his, some of his art and stuff in there. So basically Emil just went through and like tagged these pages. That one's pretty sick. It was cool because everyone in there, I just asked them to contribute something. This is the official CCS catalog archive. And yeah, we got some really cool vintage custom that is. It's fun as a skater, it's fun as a person, like a brand director for CCS to just have capsule of uh, like the brand archive. Oh, these are the dark years. Winter 2008, sorry Rob, this gear is atrocious. Two girls, one pant. They had so much fun with it. And this is like an era of CCS that we like took a lot of inspiration from in the last few years. And we've been doing it like our eight years now before it got big enough that they felt like they had to do things perfect. So it's just them fucking around. And this is what made it so cool. So this is my first cover, July 2007 cover, Aaron Susky. And he 50'd it a few times, I think. And then he called me the next week. He's like, I got an itch. I think I want to go 5-0 it. I need to 5-0 it. It's got to be better for the cover. I was like, all right, go back. We shot the photo. He made it to the bottom a bunch of times. The photo was good, whatever. Then it got dark, so he couldn't do it. And I was like, well, what do you want to do? And he was like, I'll come back and do it. He's going to get it. He's like, all right, cool. Photo's slated for the cover. He went back to get it and ate shit and broke his nose fell onto his face and broke his fucking nose. Like a brutal, scary slam. And I think that scared him off it. And I think he was just like, nope, not worth it. I don't care, it's fine. He's like, I know I could 5-0, I'm not going to. <laughs> so my first cover was a bail. When this came out, no one had ever seen that. No one had ever seen this fucking twist up. If that was a bail, I think there's a problem with that. I guess the 5-0 would have been nice if it was landed. But this, if Jamie didn't do this Wally, who gives a shit? He did do it, it's in his video part. But like, if that was a bail, like I wouldn't fucking care. Um, what do I, am I gonna be like, Jamie Thomas, one of the best skaters on the planet, can't wally over a, a thing? Of course he can. Like, people get so hung up on it and it's like, you, it's a moment in time. Just enjoy the photo for what it is. This was the first time I ever shot photos with Jamie Thomas. I got a cover. But yeah, so that's the, the old magazine archives. I just bought a printer, a photo printer, but it ran out of ink last night. I was gonna make prints. Just learning all the different paper stocks and like, how they print and all that stuff is really interesting. I never really like tried to print my own photos before, so I'm learning and that's uh, fun. Got the wig portrait up there of Ali Bulala, young Ali. Oh yeah, fuck, we gotta go meet Cairo uh, 20 minutes ago. So he's probably blowing me up right now. Um, let's go. All right, we're doing a photo shoot today for CCS, uh, my current employer. And we're out here with Cairo Foster somewhere. Another thing that's cool about today is we're shooting on film. 
That's a change from the usual. I feel like most of the time I'm shooting digital. So this EOS 1N is basically the exact same camera as my digital 5D, but it just shoots film instead. I really have been enjoying shooting film. I like it the same though. I think it just de depends on what you want it to look like and it's kind of really annoying when people are like, I only shoot film. But it's been fun lately shooting film and I've been doing more uh, more like jobs for people where they want film, which is fun. So they pay for it, <laughs> which is sick. Today I'm shooting Portra 800, but if I shoot with strobe for like a skate photo, I'll probably shoot like a like a Velvia or like an E6, like old school. I got this guy too, the old Hasselblad. This is the yeah. camera I learned to shoot on. So I rebought it uh, like a year or two ago. Just, just kick clips, yeah. Oh, you can tell I've been working on them. They're really good. <laughs> I haven't been skating much. My knees have been hurt. I'm just kind of coming back now. And then I slammed really hard last week. Oh. Can I get you uh, down to this end? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. I want to do a quick portrait. What? I wanted to shoot a nice little portrait of Cairo because I liked all these trees. I like with this camera when there's like cool out of focus shit in the background. So what do we got here? Four, five, six. I have a little light meter that's supposed to hook on the side of this thing, but the battery's dead right now. You, want me to... yeah, that... you don't look right at me. You gotta like, be a little aloof. You have to like kind of look, like the move is this always. You look off like you're looking at something and then kind of like, glance back with the eyes. That's like the model move, yeah. So like, oh, that was it. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay. Sit on this ledge right here. Dude, this light keeps changing and it's gonna make me crazy. See, the goal of the day is to make pants look nice. Cairo looks great in pants. What I learned to shoot on was this camera and this lens. So of course, when I got the opportunity to buy this lens for this camera. That's like what I use mostly to shoot long lens. Zeiss fan. You want both feet on the board? Uh, one foot off. Pull your hat up a little so I can see your yeah. face a bit. Yeah. Look at me on this one. Sick. One more. Do that thing again where you look off to the, yeah. Sick. Thank you. Yeah. You know I'm shooting the black and white Hasselblad stuff? This is deep skate nerd shit. No one's gonna know this when it comes out, but I'm shooting that as a little bit of a homage. Uh, your interview with Humphreys in the first skateboard mag. Oh, wow. All black and white, all Hasselblad. That interview is amazing. Those photos are so good. To this, like, they're still some of my favorite photos. I don't know, mess around with the ledges a little, warm up, maybe we'll get a little, a little back tail, maybe kicky back tail. Yeah. You know, I want that back nose blunt. I got two of these young Nuo. YN 560 speed lights. They're not really good. They're fine for the price and they break a lot. Of course we have the eight to 15 fisheye. I was in Copenhagen at a contest and I was walking around. I was a little drunk at Copenhagen and I had my camera on the side and I just was in a crowd just rubbing my fisheye against anyone that walked by. And then I looked down and I had like three new scratches. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of nice. Once you scratch it once, you kind of stop caring. I think this is my third 8 to 15, and I've gone through like three 15s since I started shooting photos. So like, I'm gonna shoot a little front blunt, Cairo. I'm not shooting this like I'd shoot a real, like a proper skate photo yet. I'm just shooting like a little long lens one, so. It's funny, I have anxiety about shooting a skate photo on film now. I don't do it that often anymore, so when I do, I do a tester on Digi just to like make sure I like what it looks. Okay, so probably 125th, F18. I'm shooting 800 speed film, so we're gonna have to go pretty, we're gonna have to close that lens up a bit. If I'm shooting a taller skater, I zoom the lens out from like 15 to 12, and I have a little vignette, and then I can crop it later. It takes away the chance that I'm gonna lose an arm or something. That's a crazy thing when you're shooting skating to shoot just a trick, you think about that, but like right now I'm really thinking about how these pants look in this photo and that's like a whole different thing. Like I hate using flash when the sun's out. Like you're never gonna beat the sun. I've never used hypersync. I don't like the way it looks. Like when you can shoot like one two thousandth with a flash or whatever in the sun, I don't really like, I don't know, it's just not for me. My hat, tap the bill of my hat. That one's actually, that one's good, Cairo. That one I got a little more on that side of the ledge. His hand would have been cropped if I was shooting at 15, maybe. Nice shapes here. I liked your point, because it was nice. Let's do one around the corner here, of a little push. Oh yeah. Or I think, oh yeah. Um, all right, you're probably good in those pants. What? Oh shit, I hate when you lay down and then I'm like, I should probably back up. 
You know you back up when you're laying down? Yeah. Yeah, it's the battle roll. <laughs> the kick off. Look at me. Sick. Thank you. Oh, that glass looks nice behind you. Nice. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Yep. What? Let's get one more digi and then I'll maybe try to film. That one's sick. Oh, that's a good one. I haven't been able to say this in forever, but you're wasting my film. <laughs> yeah, you, is that a 36 roll? Yeah. Woo. Three to four tries per roll when you're shooting sequences on film. Dude, an average probably hard trick would take someone like at least 50 to 100 tries. <laughs> like. I definitely blazed to like 20 rolls and then like I don't think I have it today. Yeah. Uh, maybe sit on your board against this guy. Look right at me. Get the Hasselblad one. That's the coolest shutter sound. I mean, it sounds so sick. Sometimes these ideas look dumb, but we got to shoot them to see. One, two. Yeah, End of that roll. Two rolls down. Double down, baby. Let me get a double down hat photo. I think this is how to get there, or are we fucking up? You have multiple different kinds of benches and ledges in here. It's kind of funny. Look at me. We got ass of 95. <laughs> now I'm just rifling through film, because I was shooting too conservatively earlier. It's a tiny bump, yeah, but basically it's flat. Yeah. What about a little back tail or a back lip on the ledge? If this is the center of my frame where that crack is and it's the center of the bricks, then you have that perfect little symmetry, you know, of the windows and the wall. I kind of want the action to leave some like excitement left. In a back lip on the right, it looks like, oh, maybe he's going across the whole frame. If he's on a back lip on the left, he's already done with the fun part, you know? Sometimes like a late photo is kind of sick, but it's got to be the right circumstance. That's not the one. Classic. Hey Cairo, is a back lip seem possible? I feel like photo wise it might be a little more dip, but you know like. That's what I'm talking about. Nailed it, we're good. Woo! End of that roll, can you hear that ASMR? So I'm gonna explore something I've never done before. I'm gonna shoot a fish eye really close with a couple flashes. <laughs> I'm gonna do some digi tests for sure. Jones also needs to get a tray flip photo, so we're gonna have a few options to shoot this thing. So here's my dilemma. Jones is regular and Cairo's goofy. Unilateral lighting. Oh my goodness. He's supposed to wait for me. I usually like to trap light it, like have light perfectly across from each other, but I can do it like this because then I can get both of them. You gotta put yourself where the skater is and know when the light's gonna hit him. That'll work. Oh, that one's sick, Jones. I kinda like him inherently when the tail's real close to the lens, though. That one's a little sick. But maybe it's a little rocket. I should have been a hair later. I like that one a lot, but... That looks so much more boring. Like, that looks more exciting to me, yeah. you know? Like, it's kind of like, ah! Where this one's like, oh, you know he's doing it. Right, right. That one looks dangerous. Like, you're not sure what the fuck is about to happen. But then this one is like, yeah, of course he did it. It's like, you're like, can we just shoot this photo? We're trying to make something. No! We're all old now, and of course we're just gonna leave. Like, whatever, I'm not gonna argue. But there is still this, that part of you will be like, why? Can you really give me any good reason of why this is hurting anything right now? Like. Look at me, Carol. Yeah, there's that quick glance. We like that. Uh, we got kicked out of the last spot, which sucks. I thought we'd be able to finish everything there and get a few more photos. So yeah, we just came to Eagle Rock High. It's kind of like an easy go-to spot. It's really fun. Woo! Yeah. All right, I got your back. Oh! I'll take that. 
Try not to shoot the same fish I photo we shot twice already today. <laughs> Doing that really points out how much you, I shoot on trash cans. It's also like the way I shoot photos, I love shooting a bump over something, especially when it's small. Trying to photograph a skater only and you're not worried about the spot than when you're trying to like show a spot for what it is, you know? Oh my goodness, you hit the ground hard. This is kind of a cool angle for the sun and those two shadows. He didn't land it, but it works for me. Nice, Carol. I want to get up on this. There we go. Cairo, will you do one more back 180 from up here? See, this is one I'm nervous about with film because like, I don't know what I'm exactly exposing for. There's like this cool backlight and these shadows, so I hope that it is cool. Oh, next one. Oh, Jones, that was it. This feels good to just shoot a whole roll of skating. I haven't done that in a while where you're like, yeah. Whenever like we're on a session, we've been shooting all day and then it gets to be like this lighting. I'm just like, why don't we just come out now? Thank you. Oh, this light's dope. Oof. You ever seen someone like reverse dunk shoot a Hasselblad? If you want to get high up with it, you have to like, well, you're about to see it right now. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, here you go, thanks. If I tell you we got it first try, will you be stoked or bummed? <laughs> We did. Oh my gosh. That was the foot, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. Did I shoot it? But yeah. it wasn't the board, was it? No, it was your foot, I think. Oof. My fault, not yours. Shoot. I get hit almost every single time I shoot. I wonder why. Well, probably for every like 100 people that buy it, one person uses it, so. You can kick it again. It's like your foot does nothing. The, the board fucks it up. You all right? Let's get it. There we go. Make sure that's sharp again. Let me see your hand for this one. This way a little bit? Yeah, there you go. Cool, and we're done, all the rolls. Yeah, we shot five rolls of film today. I feel like that's pretty solid for this little pants thing, and hopefully the film came out. We got a couple digital photos just in case, but the day will only end when I can find my lens cap, so. I think I have to pull everything out of this bag. <laughs>